The news that we are breaking to you, day six has begun with a bang in Indonesia with India's medal tally now touching 20 at the event. India has won medals in rowing this morning in the Asian Games. Right, Nushant bagged the first of two bronze medals in the men's single skulls event while the team of Rohit Kumar and Bhagwan Singh won another bronze in the double skulls event that uh, followed soon after. Let's go across now to my colleague Karishma Singh joining us on the phone line. Just the kind of way you wanted the, the morning to begin Karishma uh, because uh, yesterday we had the rude, rude shock of an Iranian uh, victory against India and Kapadi but uh, the rowers making India proud this morning. Well, they're in absolutely and we have breaking news at the moment that there has been a gold medal in rowing where Indian rowers Swarn Singh, Dattu Bokanal, Om Prakash and Sukhmeet Singh have won a gold medal in men's quadruple skulls. So clearly this morning three medals coming in from rowing, two bronze and one the very elusive uh, gold medal taking India's medal tally to 21 uh, in right. total. That is the big, big development that is coming in at this moment. Absolutely. Thanks for sharing that big breaking news, Karishma. We will be putting that out immediately. One gold as well along with the bronze, Virin. Right, absolutely. And Karishma, uh, you know, the rowers again have gone into this, uh, gone into the Asian Games again with a lot of hard work. People like Datu Bhonkanal, in fact, who uh, catapulted himself to fame at the Olympic Games a couple of years ago. Uh, and the rest of that contingent as well, really, uh, really shining at the Asian Games and gold is just reward for the hard work they've put in. Okay, let's just uh, remind our viewers again the big breaking input that has just come in. Indian rowers Savan Singh, Dattu Bhokanal, Om Prakash and Sukhmeet Singh win gold in the men's quadruple skulls. Well, that's right. And this is taking, taking place just minutes ago as, uh, as uh, Karishma was pointing out. So, three medals in rowing uh, taking place, uh, being won right now. Right. Just this morning in the first... Uh, first uh, few hours of uh, the Asian Games action that's un that's underway in uh, in Jakarta in Indonesia. Uh, what a way to start the day! A gold in rowing. Who would have thought? Uh, uh, you know, a few years ago we couldn't have even dreamt of a medal. Right. Uh, uh, Karishma, you're still with us on the phone line. Uh, you know, this is uh, this is uh, as I said, just rewards for what has been an extremely hard-working team at uh, the Asian Games. Well, yes, absolutely, Viren, and I was men making a mention of uh, Dushyant as to how unwell he was. In fact, so unwell that when the race finished, he collapsed at, uh, you know, the finish line and he was taken off in the wheelchair. So that is the sort of commitment the rowers have shown to make history to win medals uh, in rowing. I cannot remember the last time India had won medals in rowing, you know, in an Asian Games or any other international competition for uh, there to say. So clearly it is being history made and India winning a gold medal in rowing is a very, very, a big achievement that the quadruple skulls uh, we've achieved. Well, and certainly a lot of these guys, of course, are also trained with the Indian Army. Uh, so the force is an important part, or uh, Karishma, of uh, the training of uh, India's medalists here at the Asian Games, especially in rowing. Uh, people like Datu have been, you know, they've been working extremely hard to try and, uh, you know, ensure that they get up to that international standard with their winning medals at events like the Asian Games, Karishma. And you made a mention about many of these athletes representing Indian Army. I remember speaking to a lot of them and it gives them that extra motivation that, you know, they're representing their country, but they're also representing the armed forces. It adds that extra bit of motivation and we've seen that turn into, you know, top rewards for them in form of a gold medal, in form of, you know, two bronze medals and taking India's medal tally even higher uh, in, the, uh, in this Asian Games. We had won 57 medals in 2014. We are closing in on that. But we are winning medals this year in competitions in what we had never imagined that we could even win, you know, a bronze medal, let alone a gold medal. So clearly there is a lot of improvement that has happened in the last four years because the athletes, especially these rowers, have put in a lot of efforts to win these, uh, you know, top rewards, top performances. Right. This has indeed uh, beat all expectations because we were getting excited with the first bronze and first medal in rowing and then to get a gold. This is really icing on the cake, isn't it, Karishma?
that been saying gold medal in rowing is a big big achievement the day started on a good note then we heard the news of you know winning one bronze and then we won the second bronze and it's now just the cherry on the cake with the gold medal in rowing three medals in rowing in itself is a big big achievement for india and in fact don't forget that there are uh, you know more medal matches today we have uh, manu bhakar hina to do quali- uh, hmm. qualifying for the finals of the shooting event there is boxing that is starting today it's a very important match for rohan gopanna divit charan they will be playing in the you know men's doubles gold medal match so we will be having more and more medals as the day uh, progresses right. So it looks like uh, that Kabaddi loss against Iran yesterday looks like a distant, distant memory, uh, Karishma. Uh, this has really put a smile on everyone's face. We're smiling in the studio for good reason. India has won three medals in rowing, one gold, two bronze this morning. Thanks, Karishma.